If you have some avocados left from your football party, what should you do with them? Well, Chef Patty Jenich from the PBS television series, Patty's Mexican Table, is here to share some of her favorite recipes. Patty, good morning to you. Good morning, and thank you so much for having me on. Of course, nice to have you. So, and of course, even won't. everybody's yeah. buzzing about that commercial during the big game. What were your thoughts on it? I know. Well, I thought it was hilarious. I loved how the tables were turned, and it really makes you think, what would you do, or what would I do, if I had to compete to get avocados? <laughs> I would definitely participate in a human canine show, because I just can't live without them. I thought it was really funny. I know. It really was popular, and of course, like we're saying, if you have some leftover food, which a lot of us might, especially with avocados, they're so versatile, what should we do with them? I know. And, you know, a ton of people, of course, as we know, get avocados from Mexico to make quack for the big game. But I get avocados all the time. So you probably have ripe avocados that were left over from yesterday or you have leftovers just from cooking so much. So I partnered with Avocados from Mexico to give you a few ideas of what you can do. And since avocados are so healthy and delicious and always in season and because they're so versatile i'm going to show you a few examples of how you can take them really from breakfast to dinner and from savory to sweet so first i have a breakfast burrito that i call it a la mexicana which you can customize this one has scrambled eggs and pico de gallo and ripe avocado but you can add bacon you could add chorizo you could add some shredded beef or um, meat. And then here I have a big bowl of guacamole because people always think of guacamole for the big game or for celebrations, but guacamole is a great thing to make, not only as an appetizer, you can eat it with chips, but you can take your guacamole into different directions and eat it as a side or as a filling for, p for a pita sandwich or a bread or a baguette. So here I have a guacamole that's gonna surprise you because it has fresh plums and it has crunchy ancho chili bites and it has toasted walnuts. And you could add some feta cheese or some queso fresco. And then here I have a focaccia that's topped with roasted tomatoes and poblano chilies, which I know you can find in Tucson. And it has goat cheese and ripe avocado. And you can take this focaccia, you know, like anything you make with avocado, you can customize to morning or night. Like this focaccia, you could add a sunny side up egg on top and eat that for breakfast or for brunch or for lunch. <laughs> or you could eat it with a side of a salad for dinner. Mm -hmm. So you can really take all of these recipes into so many places. And you can find these recipes and like hundreds and hundreds more at avocadosformexico.com. Wow, every single one of those looks delicious. Now, I, I don't really want any right now because I'm still a little bloated from yesterday, but I'll keep those in mind and they really <laughs> look delicious. Chef, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having me on. All right. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.